Wondering how to design a t-shirt in Printful where the color of the design changes based on the color of the shirt? Let me show you how. My name is Chelsea Brandon. I'm the founder of Smart Money Mamas, and this is our video series teaching you how to build and grow your print on demand shop. If you're just getting started, I recommend you start here with how to set up your print on demand shop with Printful and Shopify, then come back to this video when you're ready to make a design with multiple color options. This video is sponsored by Printful. Printful is a print on demand service with a wide range of product options, great turnaround times, and amazing print quality. This sweatshirt I'm wearing is made by Printful. This t-shirt is made by Printful. This t-shirt is made by Printful and so many of the products that we offer at Smart Money Mamas and everything we offer at Kingdom of Threads, our print on demand shop that we use for this video series is made in Printful. So if you're ready to get started on your print on demand journey, sign up for Printful at the link in the description and be sure to watch our whole series on growing your print on demand shop. But without further ado, let's dive in and show you how to change that color of design depending on the color of the shirt. So what do we do when we're designing a t-shirt where we want to have multiple colors, but the color of the design doesn't work on all the colors of the shirt? Let me show you what I mean. Let's say we're designing this book club shirt and it looks great on black and it looks great on navy and it looks great on red, but you really want to do some lighter colors and it doesn't really show up very well on light green and it definitely doesn't show up well on white and it doesn't really show up super great on pink because it's just too light of a color. And so you want to have all these colors of shirts available, but you want to make sure you have the right color on the right shirt. Ooh, I really like that. So first you're going to pick what colors you want. So I want black heather, I want navy, I want heather midnight navy, um, I want, I like all the heather colors. Those are my favorite. So you're going to pick all the colors that you want. And then we're going to have some lighter colors too. So we're going to have leather, uh, Heather Prism Blue. We're going to have Soft Cream. We're going to have um, Athletic Heather and Heather Blue. Okay, so we have our colors. And so then we're going to continue. Okay, we're going to name this. So we're going to call this our Book Club T-shirt. And right now we're just in a product template because we always start with a product template. So hit Save Product Template. So now we have our template and the next thing we want to do is it needs to be added to the store. So this has to be an actual product to fix the problem, which is kind of frustrating, um, but you can just wait. So we're going to select all the sizes and this exceeds our variant. So we have too many colors. So we're going to get rid of 5XL. We still have too many. We're going to get rid of 4XL. Okay. And so now we're ready to proceed to mock-ups and we're going to use a flat lay mock-up. Let's do these wrinkled mock-ups. Okay. So we've got our shirts. We're going to proceed to details. This is going to be called our book club member t-shirt. We change all the descriptions and things in Shopify. So we're just going to go to pricing and we're going to set our pricing. Okay. So for pricing, all of our products are $24 and we're going to be able to move forward, submit to store. All right. So now the product is in our store. So what we can do is we can go to stores go to Kingdom of Threads. We did this in Shopify, so we want to go to the Shopify one. All right, so now it's in a product and we're going to hit edit. And what we want to do is select the colors that we need to change. So you see all of these different colors up here. When you select, it picks all of the sizes of that shirt for you. So we want to make sure that we have a darker color book club writing on white, on teal, or on ice blue, on soft cream, on athletic heather, on pink, on heather blue, and heather prism mint. Those colors we all want a darker thing. And so now that they're all selected, we're going to click this to choose all the variants. So these are all the variants of those colors. And just click change print file. And so for this one, we're going to upload a different color. We have it in black right here. So we're going to let that upload. And what I like to do is make sure that it comes the exact same print size as the white version because we want to make sure that the shirts match, right? So that's just about perfect, okay? And so what we want to do is delete the white one, boop, hit the little thing, and now we're good to go. So then we hit proceed to mockups. We want the same mockups that we used before, submit. Now the only thing that changes is that it won't upload new mockups for us into Shopify. So what we have to do now is get new mockups for our lighter images. And so the way that I do that is I go into product templates, I edit my product templates, and I'm going to go back to that design. I'm going to choose the design file. I'm going to use black. 
I'm going to put it over here just so that we have it in the same place. We're going to make it the right size. There we go. We're going to delete the white layer. We're going to hit continue. We're going to save the product template. And now what we're going to do is we're going to download mockups. Okay. So we want to make sure we have the mockups that are properly so people can see what's showing up. So we want the wrinkled mockups. And we don't need them in all the colors, we just need it in the light color. So let's unselect everything that's not going to be in black. And we're going to generate our mockups. Click download mockups. And then we're going to head to Shopify. So we're back in Shopify. We can go to products. We can go to book club member. Find our t-shirt. Here we go. And now we need to edit these files. So we're going to select all the things that are going to change the color. So definitely white, white green, all these ones, these seven. Okay. And we're going to delete those files. Then we're going to come up here to the archive, the thing that we downloaded with, then we're going to come over here to our mockups. We're going to pull them out so I can actually download them. These are the mockups that we downloaded from Printful and we're going to drag them right in here. And so now we have all the light colors with the dark print. What you don't have when you scroll down is you're going to see that the colors that you changed no longer have an associated product image. That means when someone selects that color from the drop down, it won't show them what their shirt's going to look like. And that's not a great customer experience. So what you want to do is select a color. So let's start with Heather Prism Mint. Hit more actions and then hit add images. So here's our Heather Prism Mint. Hit done hit save. And now if you go to the listing of our shop and you click Heather Prism Mint, it shows you the right shirt. And that's how you make sure you can have one t-shirt with multiple different design colors. Putting all the variants for one design into one listing makes your shop easier to navigate and lets you give a wider range of options to your customers. It really only takes one extra step to make sure that you can have both light and dark color shirts with the same design available in your shop. And I hope this helps you get that set up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the little bell for more videos on building and growing a print on demand shop and to learn how to build generational wealth that aligns with your values, because that's what we do here at Smart Money Mamas. I can't wait to see you next time. Good luck with your shot.